Hello, today we're going to talk about how we can use maths in stories. So I've been on a hunt around school and I found some things that I think I could tell a story with. I found a monkey, six bananas, a bus and some animals. I have found some superheroes and some chocolate. And I've also found four horses and an apple. In your stories, you might talk about addition. You might talk about subtraction. You might talk about multiplication. You might talk about division. You might talk about counting. You might talk about fractions. Your stories might be short or they might be longer. They might include number sentences or they might not. Maybe you'll just talk about number. Once upon a time there lived four horses. Every day they would be given one apple and only one horse would get to eat the apple. So every day the horses would argue. One day Sherry came up with an idea. Sherry went to the kitchen and asked Bob, the chef, to cut the apple up. Bob, can you cut our apple up please? Yes, said Bob. How many horses do you want to share the apple between? Just me and my best friend Percy, said Sherry. Percy came along to the kitchen to see what was going on. Oh, yummy, an apple. Is that for us? Yes, said Sherry. I got Bob to cut the apple in half. We have two equal pieces. Percy thought this was a great idea, but he knew the other horses would be sad. Is there a way that we could share it equally between four horses, said Percy. Sherry had a think. Then she came up with an idea. I know, if we cut the pieces in half again, we will have four equal pieces. If the apple has been cut into four equal pieces and is shared between four horses, that means we will each get a quarter, said Percy. Mary and Wendy came along to the kitchen to see what was going on. What's this, said Mary. Sherry said, we've cut the apple into four equal pieces, so we all have the same amount. What a great idea, said Wendy. Each horse was given one quarter of an apple and they all ate it up in one big bite. From that day on, the horses never argued again. One day, a bus went on a journey. First, it stopped at a farm. At the farm, three rabbits got onto the bus. The bus drove along and then it stopped at the red house. At the red house, four hedgehogs got onto the bus. There were three rabbits and four hedgehogs on the bus. Three add four equals seven. Finally, the bus went along until it got to the yellow house. At the yellow house, three bears got on the bus. There were three rabbits, four hedgehogs and three bears on the bus. Three add four add three equals ten. The bus drove along and stopped at the pond. At the pond, the three rabbits got off the bus. Ten take away three equals seven. The bus carried on 
until it got to the zoo. At the zoo, the four hedgehogs got off the bus. Seven take away four equals three. The bus carried on until it got to the airport. At the airport, the three bears got off the bus. Three take away three equals zero. Now there were no animals on the bus. Every day the superheroes guarded their big box of chocolate Lindor. They had to keep the Lindor safe from the evil Dr Wheel. Three of the superheroes fell asleep whilst Iron Man kept lookout. Unfortunately, Iron Man started to feel tired and he fell asleep too. Whilst Iron Man was sleeping, evil Dr. Wheel zoomed along and quietly took the Lindor away from the superheroes. Ha ha ha, said evil Dr. Wheel, as he held on to the big box of Lindor. The next morning, the superheroes woke up. Oh no, where's the Lindor gone? Dr. Wheel must have stolen our Lindor. The superheroes made their way to Dr. Wheel's lair. Iron Man used his laser hand on Dr. Wheel and Dr. Wheel fell over. The superheroes escaped with all the Lindor. When they got home, they decided to count the Lindor to check they were all there. They knew they had 16 Lindor all together. Captain America decided to count them lined up neatly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh no, we're missing one. 15, that's not enough. We need 16, that means we need one more. Batman looked quite guilty and he said, I'm actually hiding one in my co cloak, guys, just for safekeeping. Batman took out the Lindor and put it with the others. 15 add 1 is 16. We've got 16 altogether. The superheroes never fell asleep guarding their Lindor again. Once upon a time there was a monkey who loved bananas. Every day he had six bananas for his breakfast. First he went to the tree that was closest to his house and he collected two bananas. Two bananas? That's not enough. I need four more. So the monkey went to the next tree and picked up two more bananas. I've got four bananas. Two add two equals four. Or two, lots of two is four. Two times two equals four. So the monkey went to the last tree and picked up two more bananas. Two add two add two equals six. Three lots of two equals six or three times two equals six. The monkey ate his breakfast and was full up for the rest of the day. <laughs>